Yeah, you know, so the Europeans, I think, aren't quite as afraid of these drugs as the American counterparts are, uh, because there just was not quite the social upheaval in Europe at the same time that there was here in the Vietnam era. You know, uh, the media, and probably it was partly true, um, that a fair amount of the counterculture and the anti-war sentiment was fueled or initiated um, through the psychedelic experience. And there wasn't quite the association in Europe between the two. Um, you know, the Europeans are more liberal in a number of ways. Um, their investigators are required to go first. Um, and, and, and they have to first, you know, take the compounds, the medications, you know, the drugs um, that they're planning on giving their volunteers before they can start giving it to their volunteers. And uh, that's anathema still in the, in the U.S. because of all of the experimentation, kind of out of control experimentation that was occurring with the Harvard group and, and, and Tim Leary and uh, the like. You know, so that's uh, one of the, unfor the unfortunate fallouts of, of the Leary episodes um, was that American investigators aren't able to, you know, take their own drugs. Um, and that's still as true as pretty much frowned upon. Yeah, and you know, um, one of the things I hope to accomplish with Cottonwood is to kind of change the model a bit. Um, it wouldn't be a European model especially, but it would kind of, you know, um, it would borrow from the best of all of the models out there. So I think it's only fair and makes, you know, a fair bit of sense too for the research investigators to first take their drugs in the kind of setting that they're going to be giving them to other people. Um, you know, as far as informed consent, as far as being able to explain to the volunteer what to, what they're going to experience in in uh, terms of you know safety issues. Um.